Less than an hour, convicted murderer David Allen Gore is scheduled to die by lethal injection at the Florida State Prison in Rayford. The 58-year-old confessed to killing 17-year-old Lynn Elliott in the summer of 1983 at his parents' Vero Beach home. Gore is currently serving five life sentences for the murders of three other girls and two women. News Channel 5's Ricky Klaus just got out of a news conference at the Florida State Prison. She joins us now live with an update on tonight's execution. Ricky. Jay, in that news conference here outside the Florida State Prison, we just learned that a family member of one of the victims wants to talk to the media after the execution. And we just learned minutes ago that the U.S. Supreme Court has denied two pending appeals. And so that means that nothing is standing in between now and the execution. Barring any last minute stays, David Allen Gore's execution at 6 this evening will happen here in the Florida State Prison Execution Chamber. This photo, provided by the Florida Department of Corrections, shows the gurney on which Gore will lie as three injections enter his arms through intravenous tubes. The first will sedate him, the second will paralyze him, the third is designed to stop his heart. A private citizen will administer the injection. That person's identity is kept secret, and that person will receive. $150 for the act. Gore was allowed to choose his last meal, which could cost no more than $40. He had fried chicken, french fries, soda, and butter pecan ice cream. Department of Corrections spokeswoman Ann Howard had a brief conversation with Gore today. She wouldn't say what they talked about, but she did describe the mood. When I went in there, his spiritual advisor was still there, and of course our uh, correctional officers were there as well, but I would describe it as very calm and very respectful. Howard says Gore hand-wrote a letter, which will be made public after the execution. Protesters have started arriving here outside of the prison with signs. There are about four people over there at the moment. And Jeff Skrypek, my colleague, left within the last 15 minutes to go witness the execution set for 6 o'clock. We'll continue covering this story all night. Please stay with us. Reporting live in Rayford, Ricky Klaus, WPTV News Channel 5.